Hello, I'm Tawana Floyd. I'm a Los Angeles-based working actor, and in my 15 plus years of working both markets, New York and LA, I have learned a lot about the process of having an acting career. And as my career blossoms, the learning curve still shows up. I call them acting lessons learned. So this is a platform where I'm gonna share the things I've learned as an actor in hopes to helping my fellow actors, maybe that's you, to mystify the journey to better navigate your own. So here we go. Welcome to Acting Lessons Learned. I booked a COVID co-star, meaning I booked a co-star role for television during COVID. You see, the industry has been slowly reopening with some precaution and some stringent procedures in place. You know, all of my auditions since quarantine have been at home self tapes, even my commercials, theatrical and commercial, which is fine for me because one, I had a, um, what do you call it? A light kit set up before the quarantine started. Two, I filmed my video podcast, Creators in Quarantine. You should check it out. It's here on YouTube, here from home using the setup. And by now I'm just really good at it. So I enjoy not driving across town in rush hour traffic for a 15 minute audition. For me, self-taping from, from home is just more comfortable, you know? I don't have to deal with nerves because it's my house and I can do it in my own time. Now I have a three take rule. So three takes per scene. Because if I do more than three takes, it means I'm either overthinking it or I probably didn't prepare well. So three takes is it. So I booked this role and it was a one line co-star. It's like one line of dialogue, like one sentence, like, hey, look at that car over there. And when I first began my acting career, um, I was terrible at one liners because, you know, I try to make a meal out of it, like make some meaning. I want the casting director to know all of my talents, that that one line meant something like, hey, look at that car over there. It's too much, it's too much. I learned to finally get the art of the one-liner, which is to simplify it. You know, some people say throw it away, but I, I never knew what that meant. And then I learned it's simply figuring out what happened the moment before, what's my point of view on what's happening, and what happened the moment after. And then I give it a button like a, a physicality or a little something, not something a, a line, but just a little thought. You know what? I'm gonna put the audition at the end of this and you can watch it at the end of the chat. So I did two contrasting scenes. First was I was excited to be there. And then the second one, I was cynical and tired of waiting. So when you watch, you're gonna see me um, like waiting to ask a question and then get what I need and then leave. You know what, I don't even think I recorded the other person's lines, I think I just did my own, but that's what I do. So the self tape took me all of an hour. I chose my wardrobe, did my makeup, positioned my lights, my setup, my iPad, cause I like the big screen, I'm talking the iPad now. I did a test run, um, sound check, uh, and I filmed my takes. And once it was in the can, I got two variations, cut two variations using iMovie and a title card at the end um, with my contact information. And I finally sent it to the casting director via their preferred platform. And once I hit the send, I just started preparing for my trip to Mexico. Yes, I left the country during COVID, don't judge me. I had a milestone birthday this year. I refuse to let the Rona rob me of my birthday. And I had, I had it with being bored in the house and in the house bored. Y'all know what I'm saying, y'all are too. So a few days before my flight, I learned from casting that they wanted to pin me for the role. And so a pin means production is considering me and another actor for the role. The pin is the language used that suggests that I loosely hold the dates available for them and also sometimes the pin could give them time for the studio to approve the actor because the studio has to approve the actor because you might have been crazy before and they got to make sure. Thankfully, those dates did not coincide with my Mexico vacation. And if it had, I would have passed on the initial audition altogether because they give you the dates up front. It's just a responsible thing to do. So I accepted the pin. I went on my seven day vacation to Tulum. And two days after I returned home, I was offered the role, you know, used paying my, my union standard rate. And I was given a date. Cool. 
So several days later, I received an appointment from the studio for COVID testing. And as I mentioned earlier, the studios are taking precautionary measures to provide safety to everyone involved in the making of the TV show. And as I began to fill out the intake questionnaire online, I became psychosomatic. Like my throat felt scratchy, my nose began to run. I mean, I had been on a plane and I had shared a pool with people with no mask. I mean, it was possible that I could have COVID, but no, no, I stopped. I don't have COVID, right? I just have to take the test and see. So my shoot date was on a Monday and they gave me the test on a Thursday, which gave me enough time to do the testing and then get the results and then get approved or whatever. So on Friday, the AD, the second AD, which is um, the second assistant director for those who don't know the term, called me at 6 p.m. and she informed me that the writers were doing their final rewrites, which is it's normal for, especially for a comedy show. And she said that they would get back to me later on with the call time. And then at 7.45, I received an email from my agent. And I stared at the computer because I was thinking, these must be my COVID tests and I must have tested positive and now they have to terminate me. So I opened the email. The production had released me from the booking, but not because I had COVID, because the rewrites cut the scene altogether. Now, typically when I have been cut from a scene, which is never fun, it's usually you shot it and now you're just cut and they left you on the editing floor, which can make an actor feel away because you wonder if your performance sucked. It doesn't feel good. But being cut due to rewrites was a first for me. And because they had already booked me, they had to pay me for my time because I held that time open for them thanks to my union SAG after for bargaining those terms many years ago. And then at 8 p.m., I received an email from the medical company. My COVID test results were negative. Yes, thank goodness. That is it. That was my first time. Um, this is acting lessons learned. I'm just gonna come here and I'm just gonna kind of like chat and let you know some new things that happened to me that I've learned because that was my first time getting cut due to rewrites prior to shooting. And um, it, it doesn't feel as bad as when you get cut after you shot it, that's for sure. And then I'll be here every Friday with a little tidbit. See you then, bye. Hello, I'm Tawana Floyd. I'm 5'10 and I live in Los Angeles. Could I get your Wi-Fi password? Could I get your Wi-Fi password? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed Acting Lessons Learned, tune in every Friday for new anecdotes about my experiences, past, present, not future, not yet. If you've learned anything useful, subscribe. If you know an actor, because maybe you're not an actor and you just happen to come across this, but you think this information might be beneficial to them, share it with them. And if you want notifications when new episodes air, subscribe, then hit the notification bell. Until next time, see you soon, bye.